Hey guys, it's Vinny and welcome back to another mukbang. Today we are doing another cooking mukbang and I made some jambalaya pasta. This is my first time ever making Cajun jambalaya and oh my goodness, I am actually really happy with how it turned out. It looks so delicious, but before you guys continue watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications because you know that really, really helped me out. And let's get started with what we're eating today. Inside the Cajun jambalaya pasta, we have some garlic, herb, chicken sausages, some braised chicken, along with some shrimp. We also have some bell peppers, onions, and lots of delicious Cajun spices with some chicken stock and some cream. So, oh my goodness, I am so excited to try this. It is so flavorful. <laughs> so they ran out of andouille sausages. So I got um, the chicken garlic herb sausage instead. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that sausage is so good. <laughs> Love the crunchiness of the bell peppers and how braised the chicken breast is. As well as shrimps.
this is by far one of the best dishes I have made so far on this channel. Like this is, oh my god, this is so good. guys know how much I raved about my kimchi pasta before? Oh hell no. This is so much better you guys. Oh you really need to try this recipe. It's nice and spicy, just how I like it too. Today we're drinking Pepsi. Oh my goodness. You guys, try out this recipe. I'm going to link the recipe and where I found it down below in my description. Give it a try. I made a few adjustments on my end, um, but I put in notes on what adjustments I made. Oh my goodness. It is so good. There is honestly absolutely nothing I would change about what I made today. Usually I have something to say. I'd like to tweak something. No nothing this is phenomenal i'm so happy because this is my very first time trying to make jambalaya and wow it turned out amazing this should be in restaurants this should be on menus like this is a high quality meal so satisfying and you know you just get all your spices with a touch of cream and the pasta and the chicken and the seafood oh my goodness I also highly recommend that you braise your chicken ahead of time. If not, you know, your chicken's going to be rough. So I put my chicken breast in the pressure cooker for about two hours. So it turned out nice and braised. And that's when I started like stir frying it with all the bell peppers and the shrimp and the sausages. So delicious. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking mukbang. If you guys want to see more cooking mukbangs, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see me cook a specific dish, comment down below and let me know because I'm 
constantly looking for always new recipes to try out so uh yeah i'm having a lot of fun with these cooking mukbangs and i'm trying to enhance my cooking skills also if you want to further support me check out my patreon that's going to be pinned down in the comments below and thank you guys so 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 much for watching let's grab katsu really quickly to say bye bye katsu says thanks so much for watching every time i film she's always literally right under my chair waiting for some scraps to fall and then she gobbles it up you can't be eating jambalaya girl i did give her some of the braised chicken breast before i put in all the spices and stuff so Katsu's actually, she's uh, not feeling too well the past days. She's actually been sneezing a lot and we don't really know why. We took her to the vet and they think she might have caught something from another dog. So she's been taking like antibiotics and she also has some nasal congestion medicine. She was also prescribed some Benadryl um, antihistamine. So yeah, we're just kind of monitoring her in the next days. I'm hoping she feels better. Her nose is like really watery. Mm, okay, babies. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye.